vascularity and whether or not you can change yours. First off, vascularity makes your muscles look more muscular. Commitment is key. If you don't have commitment, you might as well leave this video right now. If you do it one time, it's not going to happen. And if you're not willing to look after your body and eat well, you might as well not do this at all. You might as well just leave. I'm not trying to get rid of yours, but you might as well leave at this point. The reason we need good nutrition is so we can lower our body fat enough so we can see these veins. Because there is only so much we can do. We can get ripped, we can do all these working out. How are we going to see all these veins under layers of fat? We're not. The reason your veins come up more in the summer is because when you're hot, it's trying to get rid of all that heat, so it's trying to rise to the surface. That's why you can see your veins more and they look better. In the winter, it's the complete opposite. As you're getting colder in the winter, the veins are trying to keep the blood flow closer to the core and sinking in your body more so you can't see it as much. So changing in tissue temperature is a really good way to get better vascularity. That being said, you can actually train that element. And if you do it consistently, not once, all the time, you can improve the ability for your muscles to become more vascular. So what you want to do is you want to increase the blood flow. And how do you increase blood flow? Well, a known fact is higher reps. Intense. So to do is you need to train super high reps sometime in your workout in the week. This is what you're going to do. Let's go to the gym. 